Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Uh, today I want to uh, talk a little bit about uh, conditionals and uh, specifically I want to talk about the switch node. Uh, and this is a hidden node that a lot of people don't know exists and it's really good with conditionals that has uh, many uh, uh, situations attached to it. So let's start by creating a new scenario as always. I'm gonna name it switch. Sorry. I'm gonna name it switch and I'm gonna save first and then I'm gonna create a new node. Now the switch uh, node is in the tools. Uh, if you go down you will find it here. Switch the output based on the input. Exactly what we want uh let's uh okay let's let's first create a variable and attach that to this uh we'll connect this and we'll bring this here uh somehow it's not accepting yes okay let's uh name for one and test and then move this here maybe i need to unlink first yes that works uh, then i'm going to connect this and this is the switch node so the input let's input var1 and then we need to make cases um, let's start by the the first case now uh, you can enter text or regular expression so you, we can use regex uh, in here as well so this makes it very po powerful so if uh, you, you you can uh, you can uh, visualize this in the if uh, statement here and if you put the var1 uh, and we can we can use conditionals here uh, so if var1, uh, let's say here, let's go to the text ones uh, and let's say we want to, uh, we can use the if here as well. So we can use here, go to if. So if, let's say, if empty, so if var1 is empty, uh, but I think here it's better to use a uh, so we, we can say if var1 is jack the output would be uh, this is jack so let's first take a simple example right uh, let's name this and then let's name this jack okay and let's run this let's see what is the problem okay let's run this anyways and uh, output this is jack uh, <clears throat> so we the input was uh, jack and the cases were one case uh, so if, if it is jack then the, let's try another one let's type mike what happens here uh, so the output is empty because we don't have a case for that right uh, so if we want to create another case which we will name Mike then the output would be this is Mike so a switch statement is uh, deals uh, it, it gives you the ability to uh, create v multiple multiple scenarios uh, that has multiple outputs right uh, so the input was Mike so this is Mike and we have at the end uh, else we can uh, this is no one right uh, then we can here name for example uh, Lily and if we Lily would be the else statement right if we run this then the this is the one so as you can see we have different patterns and different. now you now this pattern it could be something exactly or it could be um, let's say let's try if it's empty we can we can hit we can put text or we can put regular expression uh let's let's go to for example um uh 
chat GPT to help us write a regex. Can you can you write me a regex that uh, matches uh, email? Okay, let's see what it gives us. Uh, okay, so, okay, let's let's start. Let's copy this and go to scenarios. So this the pattern should be this. Uh, this is an email, right? Uh, let's uh, delete the rest here first uh, because now we're searching for email. This is not an email. And if we run this now, uh, then we would know this is not an email. Let's try at lily.com. Then if we run this, then uh, also this is not an email uh, let's try let's see why uh, so we have a use regular expression to match let's uh, put that as yes and run maybe that was uh, this is not an email cases one output is not an email so uh, Let's see why this is happening. So this is a pattern and the output is, uh, let's check here. Let's tell ChatGPT, this is not working. <coughs> uh, let's see. Okay, let's then copy this code and uh, this regex and check if this would work and run. Uh, this is an email so now it works and let's uh, do uh, the one here without and run uh, okay this is not an email great so the, wh why do we use this with statement now we can we can use a router here so we can the router is the basically the if statement here right uh, we can use a router and in the router we can make two one the first one it would be uh, take uh, var one and let's say we need to uh, make a regex matches pattern and then we write this pattern right if it matches this pattern then yes and we have to we have to make another one because uh, if you go back to my routers tutorial uh, i specify how to use these uh, these routers so it can be useful to go back to that so let's uh, go to uh, does not contain the does not match we want matches does not match pattern and then we write the same pattern click ok and then run this okay uh, we don't have anything here so let's uh, create set of variable here var2 okay <clears throat> <clears throat> and then make another one here uh, set variable uh, and then var3 okay uh, just so that it runs uh, this is not an email so let's uh, disconnect this because now we have a switch that is not continuing we don't want that let's uh, connect this here and uh, run this and then we see that the filter here works uh, we go to here and we see it as empty uh, i hope this clarifies the whole uh, 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 switch statement and if statement for you guys for you to understand how you can differentiate between those now as usual i will leave a uh, some links in the description box below that could be helpful for you guys. I hope you guys could use them. Uh, and always, uh, please like and subscribe if you like the lessons. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.